Hi everybody, it is the 11th of June 2020 here in the UK and last night and this morning we've had the Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone update patch for Season 4. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the patch notes, so let's read through them and see what we can expect when this massive patch finishes downloading. I'm still downloading it as we speak. Here we go. So obviously, Captain Price is coming, isn't it? We can we saw him in the picture. So what's new? Weapon mastery challenges. Once you've unlocked gold for a weapon, mastery challenges become available. That's eight challenges per weapon, each granting their own rewards, with four player cards and four emblems up for grabs. You'll need to make your way through two kill challenges, two headshot challenges, and four additional challenges that must be done in order. Gold, Platinum, Damascus, and Obsidian. Completing all challenges for 51 weapon unlocks a badass special sticker and player card. Wow. Wow. That is a lot of work, isn't it? Warzone in-match events. Now, these sound very exciting. Events can occur during Warzone Battle Royale matches and have an impact on the strategy and approach to gameplay. Events can happen in any given match without advance warning. When they happen, events will always occur mid-game, e.g. after the first drop kit and before the gulag closes. Only one event type will occur in a given match, so familiarise yourself with the three new event types available at the start of Season 4. So these events are Jailbreak, Fire Sale and Supply Chopper. So these are kind of, they're probably similar to the ones that we've had um, in Plunder Mode. When a jailbreak occurs, all players that have been eliminated will be released back into the match. Whether you were waiting for your 1v1 in the Gulag, or had been relegated to a spectator, now you'll have another chance. You will get a one minute notice before a jailbreak event happens, so find additional armour or secure a weapon for your returning teammates. Jailbreak events can occur any time during the middle game of a battle royale match, so it may be worth to spectate just in case. Be mindful that when a jailbreak occurs, it's not just your teammates that are coming back, but tons of additional enemies. Oh my gosh, that's going to be amazing. Imagine if it's near the final circles, you know, just before the gulag closes. You've got like, especially in solos, God, you could have, they, they, they could be just like 10 people left. And then all of a sudden you're going to have a hun potentially 140 people um, parachuting into that really small area. Wow. Lag city, but... Should be cool. A fire sale is an in-game event that temporarily discounts most of the items at a buy station up to by up to 80% or even gives items out completely free. A fire sale is the perfect time to pick up a UAV armor box for your squad or even a lethal kill streak. During a fire sale, buying back a fallen teammate is completely free. Oh, well, that's cool. If you're short on in-match cash, a fire sale might be the best chance to redeploy a squad mate. Note that even during a fire sale, loadout drops are not discounted. Fire sales only last 60 seconds, so expect buy stations to be crowded and prepare for a fight. Yeah, so you want to <laughs> you want to set up with like an LMG or an RPG, don't you? Looking at a uh, a buy box when the fire sale happens, and don't try and buy stuff. Just kill everybody who comes to it. Take all their stuff. A supply choppers event brings a non-lethal but heavily armed helicopter for Dan. Yeah, this is straight out plunder. The helicopter will have a lot of health and it will require a few rounds of bullets and maybe a rocket or two to bring it down. The helicopter will not shoot at you, but make sure that while you're distracted, enemy teams don't take advantage. Once you destroy the supply chopper, it will drop high quality loot for players to pick up. This loot includes three UAVs, two armor boxes and munition boxes, a gas mask, a grenade launcher. Ooh, I'm, I've never had a go with one of those. And tons of cash at a minimum. Supply choppers leave after a certain period of time. So if you want to take out what take one out, start firing right away. Remember that after taking down a supply chopper, you'll have to collect the loot. Watch out for enemy teams who might try to take you out during the collection or steal your hard-earned rewards. Well, they sound cool, don't they? Jailbreak, fire sale, and supply choppers. Contraband contract, contraband contract system. Contraband is a new rare contract with a permanent blueprint reward. Contraband contracts have a chance to spawn after a previous contract is completed. 
If you see the contraband briefcase, hurry up and collect it. Once you have it, take it to the designated helicopter extraction location to call in the helicopter. The player carrying the briefcase must deposit it into the helicopter drop bag to complete the mission. If you kill a player during the carrying this briefcase, you can steal it, complete the contract for your team. Be on the lookout for them on your TAC map. Oh. What do you get then? Contraband is a new rare contract. I suppose you get money, won't you, and stuff. Playlist update. Barraquette Promenade has been added to Ground War. Ooh, so we've got a new Ground War map. Trench Mosh Pit. So I guess that's new map, Trench. Scrapyard 24-7. <laughs> that should be cool to play. Blueprint Gunfight. Warzone, we've now got Quads, Trios, Duo, Slo Solos, Blood Money. Warzone Rumble. Warzone Rumble is a brand new mode in Warzone. Two teams of 50 players parachute and battle out in various areas around Verdansk. This mode is high action with custom loadouts, vehicles, and quick respawns. Gosh, that's going to be great. Modified Special Operations. Just reward veteran, just reward regular. Um, and then there's there there is in the patch note it does take you can click to a page that shows you how to reduce the size of modern warfare basically by uninstalling the campaign, and um, you can uninstall um, these spec ops as well, and then we've got lots of general fixes for weapons, war zone, loot update. New weapons and updated blueprints. Be on the lookout for the Fennec CR55. CR56 Amex, Renetti and more. Fix the bug where the recon contract could spawn inside an ammo supply cache, making it unusable. After completing the contraband mission and calling in the extract helicopter, players could shoot the helicopter without receiving hit marks. Oh, these are more bugs, aren't they? Spec up stuff. Right, okay, so what you tend to find with these patch notes is that they're not that in-depth. Um, they don't include, include everything. Um, very looking forward to these war zone in match events of jailbreak, false fire sale, and supply choppers. And really, obviously, we've got some new maps to play around with, especially um, Barracat Promenade in Grand War. That'd be cool. And War Zone Rumble 50 versus 50 sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? So, anyway, get downloading it. Sounds good. More amazing free content for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. How can the new black ops game possibly compete i don't know you think treyarch must be looking at all of this and thinking we've got to be on our a game for this but we should be we should be hearing about the new call of duty very very soon it's very very late the fact that we haven't heard anything very very strange anyway that's enough from me i'll put a link to the uh, patch notes in the description below the youtube video thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon